Hi everyone. Thank you very much for viewing our presentation. Today, we will talk the challenges of network operator in transforming infrastructure. And also, we will introduce OpenStack Tactical's approach to this challenge. Firstly, we, we introduce our speakers and this presentation agenda. In this presentation, we will speak by three speakers who belong to three different companies. First speaker, I'm Hiroshi from KDDI. I will speak in part one and part three about the challenges of, challenges of network operator and introduce our case example for Taka. Second speaker is Ogawa-san. He is Taka PTL and belongs to NTT Laboratories. Ogawa-san will talk about current open stack Taka committee status in second part. Final speaker is Takashi-san. He is Taka Core Developer and belongs to NEC Corporation. Takashi-san will talk about collaboration with HCNFB as implementation case example in final part. In first part, we will show some challenges of network operator. Today's speaker, NTT Group and KDDI is competitor. In Japan's mobile phone market share, NTT Docomo have about 40% share, and the KDDI have about 30% share. However, we have the same challenges as a network operator. There are two trends about containerization and merge vendor integration. Containerization cannot be avoided. However, we think virtualization will not go away soon. This reason is simple. We're still ongoing to transform to virtualization. In addition, some network functions not suitable for containerization, such as user plane network function and legacy application. So we need to operate network to different type of technologies together. Next second challenge is about much vendor integration. Thanks to standardization and open source technologies, it was accelerated. However, because of NFP architecture, it is increasing just integration cost and verification cost. Especially clearly shown around the VM manager. This reason may be due to it has many interfaces with VMFN, and there are some implementation options in standard about VMFN. And many, many VMFN vendor is not comply with standard, and also, of course, standard is not covered. Besides, we need maintain higher service level. So we cannot cut corner in that verification. OpenStackTac committee is trying to solve these challenges as an open source generic VNFN. For challenge number one, Taka is growing to adapt many environments and technologies such as CNN and VNN. So we will introduce of Taka project updates in Victoria from Ogawa-san. For, ch uh, for challenge number two, Taka is trying to solve uh, with open implementation and standardization. We will introduce two specific case examples from me and from Takasa-san. Hi, my name is Yasumi Ogawa from NTT Network Services and Laboratories. So I'd like to introduce our Taka project for realizing our challenges. So why Taka? Uh, development of Taka was uh, started about uh, six years ago from 20, uh, 2040 by Newton guys for implementing an NFV orchestrator and VNF manager on OpenStack infrastructure. Now, implementation of Taka becomes mature. We are focusing on provide its NFV standard based VNF manager and NFV orchestrator as main component of NFV. For Taka, several network vendors and operators such as NHC, Brocade, 99Cloud, 
Intel and so on, uh, listed here, have, have joined uh, to development. We have implemented our requirements for realizing commercial service on Takra. So here is OpenStack Takra. Uh, it is an official project and OpenStack for providing features for VNF manager and NFV orchestrator. One of the main features of Takra is orchestrating virtualized infrastructure, especially for telecom. It is also including physical infrastructure. So uh, NFPO in Takra cooperate with OSS, BSS, um, VNF manager and uh, BIM. So BIM means virtual infrastructure manager responsible for controlling computing resources. OpenStack or Kubernetes in this context. And OSS is for operational support system and BSS is for business support system. On, on the other hand, uh, VNF manager has responsibility for managing uh, VNF uh, as named. So uh, here is a use case example of Tucker. 5G core with a containerized, containerized uh, VNF. We're expecting that uh, some or many network functions on 5G core network will be deployed as uh, containerized applications. So mixed virtual machine and container environment more exactly. So this diagram showed that uh, VEPC, uh, VMS, or 5GC containers are managed from Tekka with OpenStack and Kubernetes. We started to implement uh, content support before Usuris and more focusing on from uh, Victoria. In Etsy NFV standard, uh, it's also started to discuss how to deploy and network applications and services with uh, container infrastructure service management. So, uh, as Suji san uh, told in KTTI's requirements, merge vendor support for VNF manager is one of the top priority for their requirements. So, it is not only for KTTI but also other operators. For meeting uh, such a requirements, uh, we have implemented technical design and implementation to provide uh, standardized features of its NFV. It is including the latest ongoing requirements such as Kubernetes support or a new uh, testing schema called as robot framework. It is so challenging. So uh, here is a list of our proposal specs in the previous VPTG related to its NFV standard. For example, lifecycle management, LCM notification, scaling operation, and so on. So some of them are already raised in Victoria, but not completed yet, or yet. Especially uh, Kubernetes support and robot framework are just started actually. So we will continue to develop uh, these features and make proposals for its NFV in the next uh, Warabi release. So uh, as the last part of my session, I would like to talk about uh, our community uh, shortly. Taka is not so large community actually, but still growing. We have uh, accepted accepted 141 patches for Tucker and its family uh, in Victoria. And it is 37% uh, increased comparing with USU. The number of active contributors is also increased. In Victoria, we have uh, 26 contributors for proposing patches and more for living from NEC, Fujitsu, DNC, or so on. And Fujitsu was joined uh, to Taka again from Victoria. 
So this is uh, Tucker's Highlands uh, featured list in Victoria. Power signs uh, for XENFE standard uh, features. We have uh, several features uh, as listed here, but some features are not completed yet, and it's still going on. And the second one is uh, Phoenix support in Tucker from DMC. Phoenix is an uh, open stack project for providing maintenance, update, upgrade, and uh, scaling operations for zero downtime services. We have uh, implemented a uh, Phoenix plugin in Tucker to enable users to use these functions. And final one is for Kubernetes support. So Tucker has uh, Kubernetes support, but not so much actually. So this update is to add a feature to support to load uh, Kubernetes objects file from artifact. Uh, specified in additional params in and uh, additional Kubernetes objects specified in Kubernetes resource kind support. So we will provide more sophisticated uh, features required for generic VNFM and NFVO in Tucker as de facto implementation. Thanks. Here we will tell you about a case example. Taka used in commercial service network by KDDI. Before I talk about case example, I introduce my company KDDI. KDDI is fixed and mobile network operator in Japan, and our fixed and mobile subscriber is totally over 16 million. And now we adopt to Taka as open source genetic wind manager for fixed VNV system. Lastly, we describe the background uh, of Adopt Tucker. Today, KDDI is operating another BNM manager. It is vendor specific BNM manager. That BNM manager is too much to us. It has so many functions, but we did not use all, all of them. However, it has no flexibility at interfaces, and uh, we had has been many trouble related that complex architecture. KDDI realized that it is needed some simple and small BNM manager. So we think Taka can solve this pain. Why Taka can solve it? Taka has four benefits for network operator. First, it is lightweight BNM manager. Taka run just a single git repository. Second, it is compliant to HCNF standard. In other words, it has enough capability to connect other NFV systems. Third, it is open source software. You know, open source software is not depend on any specific vendor and any specific operator's environment. So, BN vendor can integrate BNF to Taka it themselves and uh, also can test themselves. Fourth, it is OpenStack project. In NFB, OpenStack is most popular solution for NFBI and BIN. So we can share the knowledge to operating OpenStack, both BNF manager and BIN NFBI. It can reduce the running cost for, for operator. In addition, one factor pushed to our decide. Taka can use hot heat orchestration template as VRD, virtualized resource descriptor. It was expected that reduce much vendor integration cost and verification cost. Because VN vendor can verify VI VNFM interface themselves without VN manager. And also, HOT is more popular and more flexible than Tosca BNT. However, Taka is not perfect. We found something missing in Taka by compare between Taka upstream code and our commercial use case. But 
we did not enough resource to fill this gap. It has uh, it was a hard problem to KDDI. So we decided to get help from NEC to fill the gaps together. NEC is one of most active Taka contributor, and also NEC is KDDI longtime partner. KDDI provides use case of commercialization and uh, NEC provides software development and upstreaming. And both KDDI and NEC provide commercial level tests. Uh, some of achievements are now on upstream. For an example, Taka had issue to use multi-deployment flavor with hot due to a bug. The bug was found in a discussion between KDDI and NEC. And now, the patch was provided to upstream by NEC. Another case, in commercial system, needs a consideration of abnormal case. In LCM operation of abnormal case was not implemented in TACA. KDDI and NEC discussed its best KDDI operation policy. As a result, it was implemented and uh, patch available in OpenStack, uh, OpenStack TACA upstream too. Okay, hello, uh, my name is Toshiaki Takashi from NEC and the developer of OpenStack TACA. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to introduce collaboration with Etsy NFB. Uh, first, uh, NEC proceeds to enhance the quality of Tucker for telecom operators, uh, such as KDDI. Uh, quality means, for example, uh, proper NFB compliance or product high quality. Uh, that means uh, a few bugs. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, it is not efficient that one community proceed with these activities on its own. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of standards, uh, it is very important not only to just reference, but also to give feedback from us or discussion uh, with standards organization. Uh, so we suggest the importance of such collaboration. And this time, uh, we focused on a working group called Etsy NFB TST. And this is an NFB working group, which is creating NFB compliance test specification and test code. I believe that collaboration with TST will help us to achieve our goals. Okay, this is the whole picture of the collaboration, which I propose to Etsy NFB TST. Uh, NFB is promoting the release of API schema using OpenAPI, and the test code using the test framework called Robot uh, Framework. Uh, using this, the product community can ensure that the product, product is standard compliance, and in other words, uh, ensure that the product can connect with other third-party products. But I think a standard organization is not sure whether these tests can really work for real products, especially commercial products, because uh, focusing on the product or implementation is out of scope of standards. So we, Taco team, will use this test code and give feedback to TST. So we can improve the TST test code with such feedback uh, from product or implementation perspectives. And the Taka will use improved test code again and endure compliance with such improved test code. Uh, we aim to make such a good cycle. Okay, so why do we collaborate with TST? Uh, because there are many benefits from each other, and that benefits are continuous benefits. Uh, first, uh, for Etsy, uh, improving the test can accelerate interoperability, and uh, it is uh, Etsy's main purpose. And the feedback from implementation perspective will also lead to feasibility of the specification. Uh, next is for Tucker. Uh, first, we have a very simple reason. Uh, we can achieve automated API test code. And the next is uh, we can strongly declare the NFB compliance. Uh, if Tucker team uh, make mm -hmm. compliance tests, uh, they may contain our own standard uh, our own understanding, 
and which may be incorrect. So we should use a uh, test code uh, created by Etsy and FB. Uh, finally, uh, we have the same purpose as Etsy, as that is promoting interoperability with other products. Uh, based on such background, uh, we have started the very detailed and the concrete discussions with TST. Uh, first is test coverage. Of course, we should increase test coverage, but uh, Covering all is too difficult to implement. So now we have started to discuss what is important for standards and the product development. Uh, next is how to identify the TSD code and uh, that is in other words, uh, version control. So of course, uh, both of Etsy side and the Taka side have different version control. So we should discuss how to manage each version or we should discuss the relationship between two teams' version. Oh, sorry. Uh, finally, uh, I asked TST members to write such clear description in the specification document. Uh, for proper collaboration, uh, information should be shared in official documents. Of course, uh, Taka will also publish the information as well. Okay, uh, these activities will lead to the realization of the automated API testing. Uh, and this uh, op ap uh, automated API test can be useful for both standards and uh, product development. Okay, uh, this is the current Tucker's development activity. And uh, I'd like to introduce a little detailed work. Uh, first of all, uh, we have started to create a system to simply download some specific code from Etsy repository and execute it in Zoo environment. And the first target is API conformance testing uh, that is called TST10. However, we face small issues. Uh, this is one example. So how to implement the preconditions. Uh, Etsy and FB has defined the specification of preconditions, but does not implement preconditions. And the problem is, uh, Preconditions are different for each API. So implementation and the maintenance is a little hard work. Uh, therefore, we should discuss who and how maintains the preconditions. Uh, who means Etsy or Tucker, and how means uh, one option is make all preconditions uh, implementation and maintain. And the, another option is make some scenarios and uh, uh, maintain scenario is a good way, but the, of course, scenario are not defined yet. So uh, we need some additional work. Anyway, uh, I'll make it uh, an agenda for the next discussion with TSD. Okay, so this is next step. So we plan to expand our activity in the future. Uh, first, we will complete the automated API testing. Uh, ideal goal is uh, to be able to test by just downloading its code and use uh, some supported API list of Tucker. Uh, and heavy test code is continuously improved and the Tucker continue to uh, develop to support many APIs. And uh, those changes should be reflected to test with minimal effort. So we want to uh, just use TSD code and uh, Tucker support list. Uh, but in order to achieve it, uh, we need to continue to consider many things, uh, such as what we talked about today. So we will continue to discuss with TST. And the TST scope is not only API conformance, so we plan to expand our activities as well. Okay, that's all. So uh, today, uh, KDDR introduced the challenges as network operators, and uh, we introduced Tucker as open source generate BNFM to solve such challenges. And uh, we also introduced uh, uh, Taka's growth by uh, activities of many companies. Uh, of course, we will continue to such activities, uh, for example, enhance NFA compliance or have uh, active discussion and active collaboration with NFB. Uh, we will discuss not only testing, but also specification itself. And finally, uh, we think enrichment of samples and documents is very important to get many introductions. 
Okay, so that's all. Uh, I hope that everyone will use Tucker and participate in Tucker community activities. Thank you very much.